Right here at Juke Line. Um, we name these after Juke Joints in uh, Mississippi where we live. Um, it is a, a, a line that Mike pretty much designed so that he would have a bread and butter cigar, something for everybody. We've got a Connecticut wrapper, we've got a uh, Havana Rosado wrapper, and we have a uh, Broadleaf Madura. And um, these, the price points on these retail are anywhere from 450 to 7 They're a real a good entry-level cigar. They're really actually a better cigar than the price reflects. We kind of deflated them artificially so we can get them in the stores. And now we can't we can't go up on the price of the bust in our bottom. <laughs> so uh, right after that, we come out with our uh, Hellhound cigar. And um, this is a Habano wrapper cigar. Uh, what Mike did with this that makes it unique is he took a little bit of Peruvian Lijero uh, mixed with the aged Nicaraguan and uh, it just gives it a great little spike. Uh, pull it up through your nose, it does a, gives you a nice burn. You know, it's not a real, real heavy Lijero cigar, but it is a full body cigar. It comes in three sizes. Uh, we, we even got a 60 gauge in that and that thing's moving, moving like crazy. Yeah, 60 seem to be hot. Absolutely. They have been for you. And I was talking to you about the Juke earlier. Uh, surprisingly, the Connecticut uh, wrapper ends up selling better than any of the rest of them, which we thought was odd. So I told Mike we wanted to come out with a high-end Connecticut wrap. And I wanted to do a contrast cigar to the Hellhound. So we got the same kind of boxes, almost have your heaven and hell kind of thing going on there. And uh, what Mike did with this <coughs> cigar is uh, we wanted it to be Really, Smith's the only cigar that I've ever written a description for and told him to match it. Usually, he rolls what he wants to roll. He enjoy them for months and months and months to see if they t stand up, and then I brand them. In this one, I knew it was going to move to sell well because of the kinetic we had the juke line there. <coughs> so, um, we wanted it to be creamy, creamy, smooth. No bite to it. Uh, it could be a breakfast cigar, but also an elegant enough cigar to have at dinner, like. Uh, for a nice occasion or something like that. Uh, so he ended up working with the binder was uh, really kind of wearing him out. And he ended up taking the wrapper leaf and using it as a binder. So it's a double wrapper. It's an expensive cigar, but again, we even out the price along the line, so it's a portable cigar. Still, these cigars are under $10. Great. Right. This is a line that uh, you guys may remember, because you guys go back with us. We released the numbers line uh, oh, when we first started. We were rolling in Miami. And uh, they're good cigars, a Brazilian Maduro and a, a true African Cameroon. And uh, they just were not moving off the shelves. The price points were somewhere around 13 to 15 dollars. So what we did is, uh, Mike reblended them in Nicaragua. We, we blew them out, took them off the shelf for six, seven months, and come back with new packaging. And it's the same Brazilian Maduro, the same African Cameroon, uh, but now they're going to be under $10. And uh, the way we decked these out, we almost decked them out almost like a Zeno, a real high end, something that, that's a special occasion cigar. I kind of think this is going to be the sleeper in the line. I think the other cigars have more. Uh, character to their appearance. I think they're going to blow out faster. This is going to be the cigar that people come back and go, what else has Avalon got? I, it's, I think it's going to be favorites of a lot. But, uh, you know, it just doesn't have the personality that the best time. Yeah. And then let me show you the showstopper here. As you can see, we got American muscle cars sitting around the booth, and everybody's like, I thought you guys were a blue cigar. You know? yeah. And what we are is we're, we're Americana. We are... We're an American company, and so all of our themes that we come out with over the years are going to be reflective of, you know, our heritage and that. Mike Britt blended this cigar, and we smoked them and smoked them and smoked them, and uh, then we got ready to package them. So I'm thinking of a of a brand, and uh, we had been going to uh, doing some events up in Detroit. I got a great rep up there. He's got us in a lot of stores, and. Uh, Mike and I would visit these stores and these GM and Ford guys would come in there and uh, it was real refreshing to talk to them because they were very 
even though with the turmoil that's in the industry right now, they're real pro whatever their company is. They're real pro about that. And it was nice to hear Americans talk like that. Yeah. So I said, well, we're going to do an homage to the, to the new muscle car, not the old school stuff. Like, so as you see, we got the new badass cars in here. And uh, I wanted to put them in boxes of 45 so we'd have a more impressive footprint. And if the retailers start asking for box sales, we'll put them in boxes of 21 then. But we're using the whole whole GT thing here. And it's got plenty of torque too if the cigar does. Um, <coughs> it's it's not like the Hellhound at all, but it has uh, it definitely has that nice burn. Uh, where the Hellhound uh, kind of hits you more in your old factories up here, this kind of all in your mouth. <coughs> Real, not an extra strong cigar, but definitely a full body. Lots of flavor. So yeah, so that's the stick <coughs> on those. Um, I think this will be our best seller here in probably a few months. We're just releasing it right now at the show. So where can people go to find out more about Avalon <laughs> just in case their local retailers haven't caught on to carrying it? Well, we actually have a really good website that we get a lot of compliments on. It's, uh, the torques will be on there by the time we get back. We'll have those on there. But www.avalonscigars.com. Uh, it's very informative. Uh, we're a new company. We're only in about 120 stores right now. We'll be in more after the show. Big in the southeast, Texas area, the Detroit area, and now we're working on the west coast. So uh, we picked up reps at the show. So they'll be in stores shortly. I'm, I'm, I need to pick up about 200 stores, hopefully by the end of the year. That's pretty aggressive for us because we really just started selling, actually. I mean, we didn't start shipping product really until 18 months ago. Yeah. yeah. But the reception's been good and the reorder rate's good. So we feel good about that. Okay. Great, Gary. Thank you. All right.